When in Manila? When in Manila? When in Manila? When in Manila? When Manila, I will see you there. Studios.com. This is which camera? That one. This is WinningManil.com, the podcast. My name is Vince Galanco. And my name is Sky. Hello. You can find us on Twitter at Vince Galanco and at Sky, Sky Capades. Capades. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. This is the show where we talk about everything that everyone else is talking about in and around Manila. So, yeah, uh, anyway, um, lots of things have happened this week. Yes. Everything from, is it Lay Boracay or La Boracay? I think it's Lay Boracay. <laughs> Lay Bor. So is, is it Bora or is it? It's Boraca. It's not Bora. Why? I don't get that. Why do? Because people... Bora is another island somewhere else. That's Bora Bora. Oh, it's still Bora. It's like it's like saying no. You can't say, uh, um, you can't say DUI. You should say dr- drinking. You can't, you can't abbreviate things. Yeah. I don't know, I just never get <laughs> why people get so worked up about that. But anyway, uh, what is Lay? What is Lay Boracay? Honestly, this is my first year hearing about that. Really? Yeah. It's, I didn't know it was a, a thing. It's an annual celebration for Labor Day. For Labor Day, so that's when people get pregnant. Pero yung mga taong puma party, hindi naman sila lahat may trabaho to celebrate Labor Day weekend. But supposedly that's not even <laughs> the reason that they celebrate. Anyway. Wala lang, I, I walang pasok eh. Okay. Yeah. And they have money. So and it rhymes. It, it's. Well, it sort of goes into the Boracay, La yeah. Boracay thing. And like, so, quarter of the population are in Boracay yeah. during the Labor Day weekend. So, so might as well. Might as well have a big Ikaw, party. Ikaw, where Labor Day weekend? No, um, um, La Boracay turned it into La Basuracay. I know! So, I would rather just say La Boracay. I, I stayed La Boracay. La no, I, I like stay. I... I don't like traveling when everyone's traveling. I know. Fortunately yeah, me for me, I'm uh, blo- I'm a blogger and I get to travel a lot. I yeah. make my own schedule. So why would I kill myself with the crazy flights. lines? With yeah. the look at that! Look at that! Why would when, I? When I saw this photo, I'm, I was like, um, is this a good photo or is it? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, see, see, it depends what you want. See, if you're you looking for, us, if you're, yeah, if you're looking for a huge orgy with sweaty bodies all over you, then this is <laughs> your thing. But if you're getting older like me, I, Neither, I'm, let's ask the, uh, how I'm in my, <laughs> I'm in my late 19s now, you know, so it's, yeah, I'm right. getting older <laughs> now. So this is not no. quite my party anymore. No, but, but, but I, I did the Barack. I, I mean, I, I have my list of top 10 things to do with Barack. I, number one's uh, cliff diving, Ariel's yeah. point. Number two, I think, is um, 15 shots and still standing at Cocamangas. Did you do that? No. So you need to do that. That's You haven't been to Baracay, technically. Okay. <laughs> I, I just I don't so, want to get drunk at the beach. So, you know, I, I've been there. For, oh, and after I did my 15 shots, I did not remember a thing. My first and prob- <laughs> probably only blackout. No, not my only. Uh, first, one of the few blackouts I've had in my life. I woke up on the beach, sand all over my face, looking for my friends. I went back to the hotel. They're like, dude. We were looking for you all night. You like disappeared. <laughs> Hangover. Supposedly on my way out, th- what they tell me, th- I, I really don't remember this, but oh. on my way out of Cocamangas, like I grabbed every girl's boobs <laughs> on the way out. So like if you were a girl in front of me on, my, on the way out. Way to go spend time in Barakai. <laughs> as I was stumbling out drunk after 15 shots, but I got the t-shirt, which is the most important thing, by the way. You get a t-shirt okay. if you do 15 shots. And then they, 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 they dragged me out and apparently I just got lost. But, <laughs> but So you get a t-shirt if you do the 15 shots and you get a point for your country. You know Vince, you're not alone. I feel like the people who are in Labor Rock, that's what happened to them. I'm sure. They got drunk because there's so many parties with free drinks in um, Labor Rock. We will ask our correspondent who we sent there specifically with a mission to get laid. <laughs> Zia Chismosa will be here later on. <laughs> Advance your camera. <laughs> I see you now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, no, but we will we'll talk to Zia later on and see what the. What, yeah, but apparently, how after it was. the party, sobrang dumi sa barangay. That's like, the thing. I don't get that. Crazy. With Filipinos, I, I don't know if it's the country, I don't know if it's a culture, but it's the, like, it's, you won't see in the States, you won't see people open their window in their car and throw yeah. out a bottle, uh, an empty plastic bottle. Here, it's still somewhat common, throwing cigarettes out. Uh, oh, no. So even before, when I would go to Boracay during non-peak seasons, there, there would be plastics on the, on the beach. I would try to pick it up, but there would there'd be a reasonably 
lot of I them. I know. And everyone, siguro, hindi sila marunong mag-clean as you go. Eh, usually, di ba, in the States, people, pag kumakain sa fast food, they uh, bring their trays near the yes, trash. Yes, you, you, exactly. Yeah, they put it there. Hindi ko lang alam dito bakit, especially when you're party at the beach, di ba, why would you throw? Gusto mo bang mag-swimming kasama yung basura mo? Exactly, exactly. You're the, you know, you're the one who's gonna party in that water tomorrow. Why are you throwing... Your plastic balls. Kaya ang daming nagtweet and naging Instagram na photos na sobrang dumito ng buraka. La basuraka I know. I know. So keep it clean, people. Keep it clean. Anyway, other than that, um, is it, did you have anything else about that? Wala. Mamaya si Zia na lang katanangin natin na nangyari sa well, Le we Boracay. Sh- we shall see if she got laid. That was our one mission for her. But other than that, what's what's going on with the MRTs right now? Um, kasi di ba we were discussing nga na palaging siksikan sa MRT and the, all that. The metro rail transits. So parang during the day, they will designate express System. trains um, from north to south na hindi kailangan tumigil on all the stations. Oh yeah. So kung sa sakay ka sa north, tas bababa ka ng Ayala, sakto hindi na sila dadaan on sa mga yes. um, stations in between. It only stops in select stations. Yeah. So it might stop at maybe the... Well, depends on the scheme. There are some that go straight all the way to the yeah. end. There are some that has, instead of 20 stops, it'll only have 10. It'll stop every other station. Or it'll stop, sometimes they'll have less. It'll have five stops, only the main stops. So, yeah. That, that Ayan. So, I don't know. Ikaw, what do you think? Yeah. Will it work? I, or magagalit na naman yung mga tao? I like it when they try stuff. I li- I, yeah. To me, it's like, at, you know, they're trying. They're doing something. Because when I was watching the news, parang nagreklamo na parang, eh, so, lalo lang ako mag-aantay ng matagal kasi yeah, so hindi if, madadaan na yung station na bababa. If it ko. does that, then yes. Because, of course, people don't understand the bigger picture of things. Yeah. They're just like, oh, all they think is like, oh, it's gonna skip. That's it. Tsaka ganun din naman eh. Pag dumaan yung train sa'yo, tapos puno na, hindi ka pa rin makakasakay. So, might as well wait for the train na dadaan sa bababaan mo. Yeah, and it's, it, if it works out, it'll be faster for you too. Well, hopefully if it works out, then there's less people on the train because it's only the people going to the stops that the train's stopping to. Hopefully the, the trains will be more accessible. Hopefully it works out. We'll see. Anyway, uh, speaking of uh, trains, how about this train wreck of a guy? <laughs> Money Mayweather! <laughs> Okay, he won last Sunday. Is, is that considered the win? I'm kidding. I, I, yeah, yeah, apparently he won. But and what's funny is that nag-tweet, may mga nag-tweet na mga athletes and boxers na, now you can fight Manny. Mo, uh, Muhammad Ali yeah. tweeted. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, so, Manny's yeah. there. Tapos but, sumagot si Manny na parang hinahamon niya na sa Mayweather. I don't think it's gonna happen. It's and not gonna all, happen. It's, it's not gonna happen. He, he wants his undefeated record. But also... Yeah, 46 wins. He's, what, 37, 38? 37. 37. He's bound to lose if he keeps fighting. If he doesn't retire today, he's bound to lose at that age. I'm not a boxer myself. I heard yeah. that's pretty much the... That's pretty much the cutoff point. You start losing late thir- mid to late 30s. Oh, not bad. Is already the... That's already the cutoff point. Yeah. That's already pushing it for as a boxer. And uh, kung alam niyang matatalo siya, hindi talaga siya lalaban. Yeah. Uh, I heard he's interested in buying the Clippers. I heard he put his name out there amongst the many people interested. Hindi, I, think, hindi I heard ba, Oprah hindi ba, is interested. Hindi ba, hindi ba payag yung mayari kasi racist siya. He's, <laughs> he's not going to sell his, his team to so African Americans. Oh, you're right. Yeah. And he he's won't, racist. So he'll, he'll sell it to... Not true. But uh, yeah, I don't know what powers the league has to force him to sell and all that. Uh, anyway, he has money. on better news, um, locally, there yes. is this picture of this cab driver that was going around. I'm like, okay, what the hell did this you know, yeah, guy do again? Yeah, I thought it's bad news. Eh? Uh, yeah, I know, I know. There's this cab driver going around. But apparently, it's not bad news. It's really good news. <laughs> Alam mo, wait lang. Kaya ako sinabing mo ang bad news kasi he looks drunk. <laughs> when uh, I saw the photo, you, oh, he you looks are r- drunk. He does... Ah, oh, you are... Kasi, look, he's so red. Tapos gulo-gulo yung hair, ganyan. Yeah. Pero kuya, saludo ako sa'yo. Sa anyway, may bahaw eh. This taxi driver apparently found a cell phone in his car and he returned it. But it, it wasn't just that. Well, it's a small... It, it's kind of small deed, but it's not yeah. it's not expected anymore nowadays from cert, from people in general. Kasi effort ka pa magbalik eh. Yeah, and just imagine, like, he, let's say... It, it didn't say in the article, but I'm assuming it's a high-end phone the way they talk about it. Let's say... Oh, because he didn't know how to use it. Yeah, the driver said he didn't know how to use it, right? So, which is why he couldn't pick up the phone. But let's just say it's a Samsung or an iPhone. Okay. Used. A used Samsung S3 or a used iPhone 
you can get a good 20k for that if it's yeah. still in good condition. More maybe. iPhone 5. So if you, if you even sell it for super cheap, sell it for 10k. You still have 10k. I think that's two months of their salary, a month or two of their salary, right? Yes. As a taxi driver. So, you know, it was really... Uh, so they tried really to really nice to hear good news naman minsan like yeah. this because I like I was saying dun sa mga pinag-uusapan natin before na puro yung share na lang sa social media puro <laughs> bad things about people o kaya yung nirip off sila ng mga taxi or whatever if there's something good happening to you it's worth sharing din naman online para to tell people na there's hope in humanity <laughs> there is there is a little bit his name is Mr. Ponciano Dumatay uh, the taxi driver. It's just the way it was written as well. The article, the the kid and his dad, they were yeah. really appreciative. They gave him a... He didn't want to accept the reward, reward, but they forced him supposedly. So I think he took it. But yeah, it's, it's a cool story. Fair to mga taxi driver, marami pa namang mababayat na taxi driver. I know, but unfortunately, you know, one bad apple gives the whole bunch of... Yeah. Ma- r- makes everything rot. Anyway, other than that, cool things to try out... Uh, <laughs> cool things to try out <laughs> in Manila uh, this week. There's this thing. It's the people who came up with the Outbreak Missions. The Outbreak Missions, if you haven't heard, it's the the running things yeah, with zombies chasing zombies. you. So it's the same supposed group who organized this. It's called the Breakout Missions. I didn't go myself, but everyone who's gone, including our writer and my sister, have been raving about it. So apparently, it's they lock you in rooms, and you have to find clues throughout the room within your team okay. to get out. Nice. So it's so you're supposed to break. Uh, 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 you're supposed to beat the time of 45 minutes, and of course, you, you know, uh, you, there's exercise for your brain. Probably yes, exactly. So it's like a you know, there's a lot of games like that online. So check it out on uh, WhenInManila.com for the complete details. But apparently, people yeah, are talking so about this. Yeah, you guys can this. try it too. It's in. It's on uh, Paragon Plaza, uh, Ed's uh, Corner, Reliance Street. On here, here. Yeah. Bunny. No, yep, yep, where all the radio stations are at. So, so yeah, check that out. It's called The Breakout Missions. The, it has 9,000 likes on our page, which is, I'm surprised that. Like, wow. Yeah, so, a group of friends. You guys can try that. Exactly. I think it's 400 pesos per person, something yeah. like that. And then there's a, a fee if you want to reserve a time. Because you have to reserve a time, because that way they set up the room for you with the missions and all that. So you have to reserve a time. So call them now. Check, check it out. It's something new to try. I, I, yeah, I, kung hindi kayo makapag beach this, this uh, summer, maybe you guys can try that. Kasi it's a city lang. Something I, fun to do. I think in the it's city. something different. Um, because uh, I have a cousin flying in uh, end of May, so we're gonna try this. I think first week of June or something like that. So, so yeah, there you go. Anyway, other than that, uh, another thing to try out: uh, opening. Since you guys are all crazy NBA fans, Yay! the NBA cafe is open. It opened uh, with Gordon Hay- Hayward and Tina yes. Thompson, who came into town. But it's a nice place. The food they served that day when I tried that was nice. Uh, there's jerseys everywhere. There's yes. side memorabilia it's everywhere. It's a sports bar, sports cafe. Right when you get there, it's at SM Aura, by the way. SM Aura at the rooftop deck, whatever the deck is called. But it, as you're walking there, you'll pass by the Magnum Cafe and all that. As you're walking there, there's a huge NBA logo sign thing. It's like, okay. it's you won't legit. miss it. <laughs> you won't miss it. But apparently, they say this is the first official NBA cafe in the world. So Yeah, it is. It cheers is to the Filipinos. First. Good job. But yeah, it's, it's, nice, it's nice over there. Speaking of the NBA, segue before we talk about other things. NBA's nice right now. There's I know. Lots of, and it's, it's, game it's fun to watch right Mas now. It's fun to watch right now. I'm more watching the Oklahoma uh, I have no choice. Oklahoma Everyone's watching Clippers. it every morning at the office. That's why we have late lunch all the time. <laughs> and because um, in our office... Who, who are you rooting for? See? Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. In our office, because there's TV behind my desk and everyone's shouting. So wait lang, who's calling? <laughs> wait, it's, not, it's not showing here. Then it's not showing. We can't answer. Sorry. Uh, hello? It's not showing here. Slide yung PC. Oh, no, no, no. But it's not showing. It's not showing. No, no call. Ah, I can't see what Okay. Hello? Hello? Let me guess. It's hello? Martin. Hello? Tell us. Tell us. Hello? Hello? Hello. Yes, uh, me, Martin. How are you guys doing? Our one there listener. On, uh, <laughs> 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 what do you have, Mar- What you got for us, Martin? I know. Well, right now I'm watching you guys, and it's kind of like on tape delay. Like what? One minute? Oh yeah, I can just it, hear. It takes all a while for right this now. awesomeness so, uh, to get on to the wire. A very poor DSL connection. Um, doing just fine. 
So how are you guys doing from uh, Labor Akai or Labor Ahai? <laughs> We're doing Wala, good, Martin. Wala, hindi kami parehas nag Labor <laughs> So yeah, I'm also here to uh, join you guys in a way. So uh, we talked about the NBA so Cafe, amazing. right? Yep, yep, tell me about that. Yeah, um, also saw Gordon Hayward and Tina Thompson a few days later from uh, their events at MOA, mm -hmm. which is NBA Cares and also the KFC shootout, which and was also awesome. And how was that? And to the viewers, you guys can check it out at winandmanola.com as well. Gusto makihost ni Martin. Thanks for calling, Martin. We'll talk to you soon, buddy. See you on Saturday. All right, thanks, man. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sabi ko na si Martin yun. I knew it. Si Martin, Martin parang yeah. nanonood ng, ng husa. Simula when in Manila hanggang BNO. Eh. <laughs> probably, probably. Pag meron kayong ano, live viewer na isa, sure yun si Martin. <laughs> well, I think they get more viewers than us. So I think they're good at it. Si Martin. Anyway, um, uh, also in case you guys didn't hear, Manila apparently was, it, it's not a vote. There's a, the United Nations Commission on Human Rights um, has estimated that there are, that there are 100 million homeless people all over the world and they raided the 25 cities with the highest homeless populations. Guess who number one is? Manila! We're number one! We're, We're number, number one! That's oh. for homeless people. It's, I don't think it's good that we're number one. Maliata. Sorry, wrong, wrong expression. Sorry. Eh, kasi sanay, sanay tayo na pag number one, magaling tayo. Ayan, pati tuloy ito sa atin din. Anyway, uh, Manila, Philippines is the city, according to the report, is the city with the highest homeless population with more than 1.2 million homeless children living on the streets. So aside from being the selfie capital and one of the most racist in the world, <laughs> we're also known to have the highest homeless Got population. That in the bag. The next cities with high homeless populations on the list uh, are New York City, which has more than 60,000 people sleeping in shelters, uh, as well as Los Angeles, which has 57,000 homeless people, followed by Moscow, which has 10,000 to 50,000 uh, people, and then Mexico City, which has 15 to 30,000 people. Fair, that's my good thing. countries. I don't know if that's good or bad or. But it also might just be the population. They, they just yeah, might be bigger marami, cities. Marami you know? mga tao. Maybe. But anyway, um, uh, just a quick, because everyone's been raving about this. We talked about this briefly last week. But yeah, yeah if you, the four. Your Spider Man experience. My, spi my Spider Man experience is really good. Again, uh, if you haven't seen Spider Man, you know what? You should, because you haven't tried it. Oh, th sorry. This is the 4DX theaters. It's the 4D theater. So you have the 3D glasses, and they take it to the next level called 4D. Moving chairs. Moving chairs, shaking chairs. Um, there's wind, <laughs> there's mist. mist, not water, you won't get wet, but it's really, really cool. It's at uh, BGC, at High Street, at uh, the new building there. It's yeah. like buildings pop Behind out the overnight. the building of Jamba Juice, I think. Somewhere there. It's, it's four, 450 pesos for tickets. If you haven't seen Spider-Man, I highly recommend it here. But if you've seen Spider-Man, I recommend maybe, I think uh, Godzilla will be good here. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I'm pretty sure the, the big action flicks will be really good here. I'm still debating if there's a movie with Kate Upton. <laughs> when she's running on the beach, I wonder if the chair's gonna shake you out. Yeah, I know, yung Sports Illustrated boom, video niya, boom, diba? Boom! I don't know if the chair's gonna shake and there's mist and that might be good. You don't, you don't need, need the mist for that. You'll I'll make my own mist. <laughs> <laughs> See where you're going there. <laughs> anyway, other than that, also, this video has been trending online all week. This video, this one video, it's craziness. Absolute craziness. Um, let's try to play this video. Yeah, it's apparently. Uh, Airport, locally, we can cut it there. Um, oh my God, yeah. uh, and people were getting pissed at it. Um, supposedly, it's a Chinese yeah, it's tourist. Yeah, Chinese tourist. And um, I, I, at first look, you just think it's a couple fighting, but the, the guy supposedly an airport official, and um, so it looks bad on the video, especially out of context if you don't know what's going on. When you hear the full story, it's still a, it doesn't justify. So the airport supposedly still gonna suspend the guy. He wasn't supposed to hit her and things like that, but. When you hear, it's still, yeah, it's still hard to justify, but when you hear the full thing, it's like, uh, it's, he's still wrong. But here, here's the official statement just released today. The Bureau of Immigration released this saying that 
Uh, it is, let me just read the shorter one. They have a long version. You can check it out on whenindmanila.com, but I'll read the shorter one. Um, Pending the results of an ongoing investigation, a Bureau of Immigration employee was relieved from his post and advised not to report to work for the meantime after being involved in an incident with an excluded Chinese national at Naia Terminal 3 last May 5th, 2014. Uh, the name of the employee mentioned, and then he's a contractual employee of the bureau assigned at the international division. Uh, retaliated when Zhang Huajiang, I hope that's right, uh, an excluded Chinese national, hit and kicked him after he tried to escort her back to the exclusion room in Terminal Three. Prior to this, the Chinese national also bit the right hand of another security personnel who tried to restrain her fr from making any more aggression. While the foreigner was clearly directly assaulting persons in authority and has committed immigration violations, the concerned um, Bureau of Immigration employees may be facing administrative charges for not following standard operating procedure and code of conduct. So it's still wrong, never hit a girl or people. But, but yeah, she was being rude. Crazy. To, yeah, crazy. Apparently, crazy. Apparently, she's over, she stays longer than allowed okay. and she works. She doesn't have a working permit. But okay. she works here, so she's sort of like on their list of people to watch out for, so or something okay. like that. So she's they were overstaying, and she's working here. They were trying she's to, not allowed to work here. bring her to investigate her in a different room or something. And supposedly, she freaked out. So yeah. And then she's screaming. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. it's like video. So it's still bad though, because the, the official is supposed to be take the you know be the bigger person and you know eh, standard, yeah he yeah. it looks like he slaps her or something right oh my god so they, they're supposed to put handcuffs on or something like that you don't, you don't slap them especially if you're a guy and that's a girl um i'm not sure this one's completely just on me uh there's no statements on this but i i it sounded like the guy was gay from the video ah, you hear si him nampal. maybe i don't know again i don't know but you hear him screaming back at the girl <laughs> So, uh, you hear sort of like you can't do you can't do that here or something like that anyway uh, that's what I assume I don't know but anyway that's what's happening there anyway, <laughs> airport and to end uh, well not to end but just to um, to have a little lighter note we also may Lagan, one of our uh, our PR director senior writers she released a list of the best places in Manila to view the sunset here wow. I don't know why I don't know if it's the pollution. <laughs> Uh, supposed oh, to make this good. But uh, uh, from the picture behind us, that's actually a photo uh, that May took. Um, the sunsets here are really nice. The orange yes. comes out amazingly pretty. I don't know why uh, uh, as compared to anywhere else. So it's really something. Um, uh, coming to Manila, you really need to view uh, Manila Bay sunset. So there you go. See it on the screen there. So anyway, so um, we have a list yeah, of top places to see the sunsets. In Ikaw, saan yung number one mo? Uh, when, so, so far, it's been Manila Bay. It's been really? really nice there, yeah. Especially like before a pyro musical thing. So it's really nice. You have to wait for it. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, there you go. Um, but right now, how about we also talk Yay. about the... Chismis! Let's talk about cheese. Wait, nag make up ba? Sandra? I'm gonna fix my eyebrows niya. Tsaka nag-prepare siya about her labor okay. <laughs> adventure. So anyway, here we go. Um, this segment where we talk about the celebrity news bits and things like that. This is a segment we call Zia Chismosa. Or we have uh, Zia with us. How are you doing, Zia? I'm good. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, hello, hello. Let's try that again. There, there, Yay, because I always look like I don't have eyebrows, so. Oh, it's okay. better, better than the unibrow, right? No? No? Yes, maybe? Anyway, so <laughs> Zia, um, what's going on? All right, so let's talk first about Wawi de Guzman. You guys remember him? Um, he dancer. is, yes, he is a really good dancer way, way back. Love team ni Judy Ann eh, Santos. Oh, oh. <laughs> Love team ni Judy Ann Santos. <laughs> and un unfortunately, after two years of being married, he is now a widow. Uh, yeah, I heard about this. Sorry yeah. about that. Uh, sincere condol <laughs> condolences and, out yeah. to the families and, and it's friends. really sad because um, her wife just gave birth to their uh, baby. His wife just baby. gave birth. Okay. Yeah. Like one month after their labor, um, she died. Yeah, and nobody really knows what happened to her. So we do, uh, and they didn't have her any uh, checked out or anything. Yeah, ayo do magpa autopsy kasi ayo nilang open yung body ng wife. So yeah, okay. condolences. Um, 
Our sincere condolences from one in Manila. And the next one is... Let's check out the picture. Again. Ito yung ayaw namin pag-usapan ni Sia. Ayaw talaga namin to include Pero we have to. We have to, yeah. Because it was insane. Um, Denise's allegedly... Because uh, it's not sure if it was her... Uh, if she was the grandmother. Yeah, no. But... The, um, Denise's grandmother actually shouted at him after the hearing saying that masakit yung dibdib ko. Wala kang puso. Gusto ko yung may emotion, Just like that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> she was saying that. And it was really insane because um, uh, it's been said that there is no bail for serious illegal detention. And, and you can request. Yeah, yes, you can request for a bail if there is not any strong evidence. And I don't think you can really do that because we have photos. So everyone has like photos of Vong the videos beaten and up this. and everything. So technically, they're facing like currently Denise Cornejo will be staying in jail, like in the CIDJ detention center for like five days. She will be out in May 11 while. Uh, Cedric Lee and Zimmer will be uh, is currently in the CIDG of Manila compound, okay. and they're staying there. So oh, that's yeah, uh, yeah. we will be waiting for the update soon. Actually, I think we have a picture of Denise's um, jail prison. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, there you go. Wow. So it's a really far from her plush. Condo, condo and whatever. everything. <laughs> yeah, then um, we have the mugshot ni Denise with. Actually, she requested that uh, parang wala do maglalabas nito. She requested it sa PNP when she surrendered. Apparently, magaling ang mga Filipino. Now it's online. It's on Facebook. It's on Twitter. So, sobrang yeah. daming meme. I don't. I don't know. Can, I don't know if they can request that. It, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, it, yung sabi ng I, police I've never been. A, I've never been arrested. Fortunately, okay. yet. <laughs> Uh, wait till I hang out with these two. But so I don't know what the what the rules are with these mug shots. Yeah. But it seems pretty common to release them. It seems really? like they're public because yeah, because every celebrity has a mug shot out there. It should be like uh, with Cedric and Zimmer. The reason why they were um, they were arrested in Eastern Sa Samar because everybody knows how they look like. So technically, if because Denise was a, kind of a fugitive for like a day or two. Whatever. So. Uh, wala lang. Nainis kasi ako ang justice system sa Pilipinas pag artista ka or personality ka or celebrity ka ang bilis. Pero for the regular people, it takes like two years. You'd be lucky takes if... takes a lifetime. Yeah, Patay exactly. na yung mga ano. You'd be lucky if you get like two years of justice. So anyway, other than this, what else is going on, Zia? Alright, so let's see what's happening next. We have, of course, Jericho and Kim. Yay. I wasn't Kim invited Jones. in their wedding, but apparently I was there. It was May 1, yeah, 3 p.m. at Shangri-La, Boracay. So I'm like, what? You were too busy getting laid somewhere else, right? No, I wasn't getting laid. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Damn it. Sorry Damn to it, disappoint Dia. you. Damn Damn it. It. I mean, so one tagal, thing, so one thing to do. So tagal na. I had two things to do. I had to write and um, uh, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sayo, yung mga kailangan mong gawin. What, what is it? Do you need better pickup lines? Do you need... I mean, just, just let us know and we will Guys? provide. Okay? <laughs> Guys? Damn it. Okay, so tell us about the, the, the wedding. Okay, or the, the them. Um, or whatever. They, uh -huh. <laughs> they, got, they got married in uh, Shangri-La and Boracay. That's in May 1. And um, we can now say that... Uh, uh, actually, they postponed their honeymoon because of the legal wife right. having to be... In conflict yeah. with the schedule. It is in conflict, but technically it should start taping like around May. You better explain that properly, that that's a movie you're talking about. No, it's <laughs> not a movie, guys. It's <laughs> been your honeymoon because my legal wife. It's been... Okay, the legal wife is it's this show TV in show. the Philippines where With Angel of Sin and Ma Salvador are like... In about, but either either way, it's a TV show uh, yes. that that was in the way with the schedule. That he's part of that show. Yeah. So there was yes. a filming schedule or something like that of conflict. Okay. <laughs> Just need to clarify that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, um yeah. So um okay, technically Kim they're Jones. just still planning their um honeymoon, but they're looking for something around the beach because they really love. They both love surfing. They met in uh, Dominic Ochoa's uh, dinner party, and that's how they. Hit it off. Okay. So 
Next. Uh, well, well, be- be- well, before you go to the next, uh, give us your La Boracay report. How was Boracay during the Labor Day weekend? Mm. Supposedly one of the biggest parties ever. Lay Boracay. I, I, I don't even remember. <laughs> so you were drunk? I wasn't drunk. I wasn't drunk. How do you not remember? No, I mean... Um, to. Yeah. <laughs> Sabi ko we, na were, eh. we were doing a lot of activities. Like, we were... Wa- ah, yeah, we were, you did. Or, yeah, like, we had to do, amazing like, race the first days, we have wall climbing, and we have to find all these people that we don't even know. Then <laughs> And then we... I, I went to a party, like, around in Pearl. But there you go. It. So you that's went to a party. Right. So how was it? But that's it. Yeah, <laughs> you went there, but you didn't drink? There was a lot of people. Yes, we, it we was so that. It was so hard to even, like, pass by that's the beach That's good for the young ones like you. It's not. Why is it not? Like, you can feel the sweat from that's everyone. That's good. No. <laughs> you, that's why you're there. What, what's the local term? No. You, can do, you can make chancing. That's so Konya. You can what? make chancing on all the guys. <laughs> Like oh yeah, you can make chancy. Yeah, like, unfortunately, sorry, okay, sorry, pause, sorry. pause. I would do that, sorry. but uh, sorry, so, uh, un- unfortunately, Woo! there sorry. wasn't any. <laughs> there wasn't really anyone who is um, chancing material. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's chancing a lie. Wo- I saw well, the photos ch- online. Well, I'm chancing words. Well, I you probably know? didn't see them. One, I saw photos I online. I probably didn't see Two, them, or they were like way away. Fo- you were not drunk enough. Uh, yeah, when you're drunk know. enough, anyone is good enough. <laughs> You at 10, she's a 2. At 2, she's a 10. I assume it's the same for women. I mean, at t- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. Let's anyway. move on to... We will oh, get her guys. laid soon, I swear. Guys! Soon. <laughs> guys! <laughs> Stop obsessing with... <laughs> okay, next. Okay, moving on. <laughs> About uh, Martin Del Rosario. He is uh, transferring to GMA Network. Yay. Um, even though his contract is technically not done yet, um, he requested to be released from his contract just recently. And there's no, there's nothing, pr- there's no problem whatsoever in the networks. Just that he wanted, to, uh, yeah, he wanted to advance his career. So what's and the news item? Money. Because he's transferring. To that's TV. news. They're <laughs> yeah. transferring channels. That's oh. news. Yes, that's news for him because he is gorgeous. That's chancing worthy. <laughs> oh, so you just wanted to show his photo? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we we to talk about the news <laughs> items you select. <laughs> <laughs> that's news. He's switching yes, channels. That's news. That matters in people's that's lives. That's celebrity news. Uh, okay. Speaking of GMA, sige, bigla akong may sisegway. Okay, go, sige. Go. So, um, MVP drops his interest in buying shares at GMA. Why? Because He's buying <laughs> shares in the Clippers. <laughs> ha, siguro. Hindi, <laughs> kasi um, RSA is also, Ramon Ang of San Miguel is also um, expressing his he has interest in buying the shares in GMA. So, okay. parang. Okay. But is GMA really for sale? Anything shares. is for sale. Few shares. Anything is for Pero sale. Very hindi majority sale because that's. Anything is for sale if you have money. Oh, kaya ang island ay sabi na benta namin ni Vince eh. So, 7107. Wait, what? What? <laughs> you remember we were talking about the island for sale? Oh, that was our April Fool's joke. Yeah, yeah. That, the <laughs> joke lang oh, yun. Oh, the. Zia's for sale. Wala kaming island. No, I know. Pero sige, si Zia ay bibenta na. Vince! <laughs> anyway, moving on. Guy! Uh, well, we have the last part of the celebrity. Is this real? Yay! Yes! John Lloyd! <laughs> Topless! <laughs> Na-excite ako for JL, sorry. <laughs> Is this real news? <laughs> is he switching yes. channels too? That's news no. for all the girls out there. <laughs> Wala na siyang chan. Yes, he looks really gorgeous. That's yeah, really this gorgeous? Is, this is be- because of the really, century super He's bods. really like kind of chubby. Wait, wait. Malaki yung chan niya. Okay. So, so it's really a big accomplishment for him to be oh, okay. fit. Yeah, I remember there were billboards in Edza na nakatakip yung chan ni John Lloyd with Ann. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> century super bods, whatever challenge. Tapos he was there. Tapos parang yung reveal. Kailan yung reveal yesterday? No, it was, no, it was um, in Laboraca. It was in, uh, yeah. in Laboraca. Yun. Payat na siya. Yay! Wala so na. guys, there's As hope. As if naman affected ako. There's pumayat. hope. <laughs> you were affected that the other guy switched channels. So, you know. <laughs> Sige na nga. Kasi po, so guys, John there's Lloyd. hope. And that's about like all the news I have. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you for that. That's if, Of course, if you want to find out all the latest chismes and... Other people switching stations. You can follow Zia on Twitter. 
And yeah, no. uh, Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, I have Instagram now. At Ziodadis. There you Yay. go. Anyway, of course, if you want to find out more stuff as well happening around Manila, check out WhenInManila.com. All the big events, all the cool things, all the unique yeah, experiences. Yeah, and giveaways. And lots of giveaways as well. It's WhenInManila.com. Follow us on Twitter, on Instagram. Also, follow me. It's at Vince Galanco. At SkyCarpades on Twitter and Instagram. There you go. But I think that is it for this week. We will um, wrap it up up now and we will see you guys next week thanks for tuning in hope that was good for you too bye, bye.